back to Kids Den where we are making homemade gifts. Today I'm going to show you how to make a drawstring bag. Now you can make these in all sorts of sizes. So if you want to make a small one, you need a piece of material that is 10 centimetres by 17 centimetres. This is the medium one, which is 40 centimetres by 20 centimetres. And if you want to make a big one, 50 centimetres by 25 centimetres. Okay. You'll also need a needle and thread, some scissors, a measuring tape or ruler, a piece of ribbon and a safety pin to make the channel, to put through the channel at the top. Okay. Because you've got needles and uh, pins and so on, then you will need some adult help. Okay. So, First thing to do is to get your piece of material. I'm going to do a little one this time. So this is 10 centimetres by 17 centimetres. Okay. This one I left plain, but if you want to put some kind of design on the front, then I've cut out a little felt flower here. And the best thing to do is to put that on first. Okay. So I've just held that on with little stitches to hold it in place. I folded my material in two so that I know what space I had to work on. And remember that you're going to make a channel at the top and we're going to be turning in a seam here and a seam along the bottom. Okay, so here's my material. Now I'm going to, for next I'm going to make the channel at the top. So I'm going to have my right side eh, facing up, eh, downwards. And then I'm going to turn in 1.5 centimetres, okay? So I'll just check that. 1.5, and I'm going to put some pins in to hold that in place while I stitch along. Now, the stitch we're going to use is a running stitch. So I'm just going to show you that. Okay, put this pin down so that it's ready stitch and I'll just show you this. Now I'm going to show you this on this piece of felt with a piece of wool so that you can see. So put a knot in the end of your thread. You might want to do it double with thread because it makes it a bit stronger. To make the knot just put it round your finger and pull the end through okay so that when you've got that we're ready to go. Put the knot from the back of the material, put your needle up to the front so that the knot's at the back, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to go along just a little bit and you are going to push your needle back through to the back, okay? Then just alongside that, just along a little bit, okay? Push your needle back up to the front, okay? Pull it up. And then along, try and keep your stitches about the same size, okay? And then back to the back, okay? Up to the front, okay? Pull it up and then down to the back, okay? Just like so. Now, so I'm ready now to do the channel at the top of my little bag. So I've got my thread ready and that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it from the back up to the front just along a little bit and I'm going to go right the way along that channel. When you get to the end of your line of stitching, if you go over your stitch two or three times to make it nice and secure, at the end and then cut that tail off. Next we are going to fold this in two but we're going to fold it so that the right sides are together like that and with your pins and your ruler again you can maybe take this in sort of one centimeter and put your pins in again okay so along along the bottom here and also up this side but Keep your channel open, okay, there, because we need to be able to put the, the ribbon through. 
So if you pin that down here and down this side along there and thread up your needle again, use the same stitch, okay, along and up, finish it off the same way and then we'll be able to get our ribbon through. Stitching is all done. So now I'm going to carefully turn it round so that the right side is showing, okay? So just turn that round. Now to get your corners right, you might want to take your scissors and just shape it. Carefully pop the point into the, the corners so that we can get it kind of shaped out, okay? Like so. This one, I'll push in a wee bit more. Okay. Just gently, gently tease it into shape. There we are. Okay. So all that's left to do now is to put your ribbon through the top. So I've got one centimetre wide ribbon here and I've got about half a metre. I don't think I need as much as that. A safety pin on the end to help us guide it through okay and what you're going to do is you're going to put it in the top here at one of the openings okay in there and then just push your safety pin gently through okay all the way around so just keep just keep uh, going round and round with that. Okay, the safety pin guides it. And then when we get to the other end, the safety pin, here we are, we've got the safety pin out, so we can just gently pull the ribbon through, okay? Your little channel at the top has to be a wee bit bigger than the ribbon always, okay? So if you're making a big bag and you want a bigger ribbon, remember to leave, to make it a wee bit wider so that there's room to get your ribbon through, okay? Take the safety pin off the end and then just, it'll just uh, pull together and then you can tie it into a bow if you want, okay? And there are your, there's your little bag. Okay, a lovely little gift uh, to give someone. Okay, there you are. So we won and remember we've got the medium one as well. So I hope you have lots of fun making your little bags. And if you would like to show us yours, get a grown up to pop a picture in the comments section on our Facebook page. See you again soon. Bye bye. Thank you.